Hallo liebe Music Store TV Zuschauer. Es ist mir heute eine ganz besondere Ehre, Besuch aus Schweden zu haben. Neben mir zur Rechten ist Johann von Elektron. Hallo Johann. Hallo. Und zu meiner Linken haben wir eben schon gesehen, ist Jenk. Welcome back, Jenk. Hallo, hallo. Amazing session. Oh, thank you very much. Und äh, da mein äh, Schwedisch nicht so gut ist, werden wir jetzt mal auf äh, Englisch wechseln. When did you start with Electron? Personally, I started with Electron uh, last year in June, and I'm in sales and uh, marketing. And and when was um, Electron founded? It was founded in 1998, and that was the start. With Electron was the SID station. So after that, what what was the first uh, uh, machine which was uh, uh, really successful? I think all, all of them has, has been great products, um, but maybe the, the, the product that, that uh, attract a lot of people was the Octatrack, the, the, the sampler. So this was kind of a breakthrough? Yeah, yeah it was, but uh, since the new, new product, with, which is the Analog 4, that's even, even more of steps ahead with reaching more people and uh, doing great things. So, uh, how many uh, products do you have? At the moment, we have the, uh, the machine drum, a drum machine, and we have a mono machine, which is a digital six track synthesizer, and we have the octo track, an eight track sampler, and analog four, four tracks of analog sounds, as Schenk has been demoing earlier today. Yeah. Right, let's let's ask to the left, uh, Cenk, What's your favorite electron machine? Oh, that's a hard question. If you ask sound-wise, I think it's going to be the analog. I really like the analog sound, and I really like how you can detune the oscillators and add the sub oscillators to make a, a chord sound with one note. That's my favorite feature. If you look at the feature and the control-wise, I think it's going to be the octatrack, and the reason would be because you have the crossfader that you can change the whole sound with one movement and you have 16 instances where which how you want to change the sound and on top of that it works like a mixer so that you can run two stereo inputs or four mono inputs and then what you're running through you could process manipulate effects sample mix that that, that those are the two main um, boxes that I really like And how did you get in touch with, with Electron? When did you start to work at Electron? Um, it's quite a, been a long story actually. We've been communicating over internet for a long time and making sound packs and demos for the machine drum when the Mark II came out. And then we, I worked with Daniel for the UW packs for the machine drum. And then the Octatrack came out And then um, they saw my video, they thought, oh, maybe we could do something at Music Messe. And that's what, where we met, actually, in the first time. And then, yeah, we had a very good time at Music Messe. And then 
it's, things seem to work out that way and uh, I worked, started working there officially in September now. Yeah, so it's been half a year so far. Yeah. All right, and uh, of, of course, I, I mean, you have a brand new product right now, you have the Analog 4, but uh, let me ask uh, Johan, uh, are there any plans for the Electron community with any new hardware? Of course, we are, um, we are always looking at, at new, new things, of course, we need that. Um, um, I don't think I can tell too much, but we are very excited about, about things ahead. And um, stay tuned, you will love it. Yeah. One, one question which uh, I, I think is really interesting because uh, you, you started to uh, produce um, hardware at a moment where everyone was um, switching to like a mobile setup to laptop. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted to get rid of the, the hardware and do like a compact la laptop thing. How, do you, uh, how would you explain that, that everyone l loves the Electron gear? It's, uh, it's about instruments and uh, instruments is about the sound and the vibe and these machines brings that back. I mean, w with a knob you, c you, can, you, can get f you can get the feeling of what you hear instead of getting involved with a lot of graphical information that only messes around in your brain. And that's the main, main features. I mean, brings back the, like the instrument vibe to the music. I think that's that's the key. Everything is changing. That people actually like instruments yeah. again. Yeah, it's it's starting to be a trend now, and we we hopefully that will yeah, that will be. Like you, you're using any laptops? Oh no, I stopped doing that since I first got a machine drum years ago. But I did work with the laptop. So what happened is I sold everything to buy a machine drum first. And I had like Electribes, Yamaha sequencers, Novation synths. I had all these little bits and bats. And then I thought, Man, I think I need to get this Electron box that all people are hyping about. And then I did to get it, I had to sell a lot of things. And then I realized I have only the machine drum that I make very interesting beats and loops, but nothing else. So at that moment, I did use a laptop for some time. And then eventually I thought, okay, I need to get rid of the laptop and get a mono machine. And when I did get the mono machine machine drum, I stopped using laptop for good and good. And, good. and now I only use a laptop to record the output of Octatrack in my studio. So I have everything going into the Octatrack, like I have the analog four and the machine drum and the mono machine goes through the machine drum. So whatever I play on the electron units is heard through the Octatrack. I have also a little few other synthesizers that sometimes I put it into the analog input. And so basically everything, Octatrack is the main brain and I just record the output into the laptop and tweak a bit of the, the sound, you know, the mastering side, you know, the frequencies. And there you go, it just becomes a track for me. That's, I yes. like so you record everything in real time? Yeah, I like to work in real time, yeah. I, I did do a lot of production style stuff, like, you know, you have the boxes and then you would queue them up and then change, you know, how most people work. I, uh, you can get very creative like that, you can make some very crazy stuff. But I, I, did, I always lost the feeling of the live touch when I was making stuff like that. and. Personally, I get a really good mood, a thrive out of when I'm messing around with the sound 
and it feels like it's, it's evolving and it's changing into something more interesting or weirder. And this is what I like to capture. It's the way that I manipulate the sound and make something out of it. This is what I, and these machines have got the perfect interface for that. They have the perfect man-machine in interaction. So whatever you have in your head, you can reflect to it. And when you reflect that sound to it, the sound that you hear in your ears will give you inspiration to do other things to the interface. And it's like that kind of feedback that you have with the machines. Yeah. I would say thank you for coming out all the way from, from Sweden. It was impressive, right, impressive thank demo. You for having us, yes. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. Thank you.